So many tears shed 20 years ago, and even more tears shed today on this 20th anniversary of 9-11, following five hours of moving, poignant remembrance from our colleagues at ABC News. We now welcome you to Tampa, where in their own way, this celebration of college football, Florida and USF, both honoring the memories of the heroes of 9-11. This is a different kind of team, though, that Dan Mullen has this season, of course. Last year, disappointing finish. They were on the doorstep of the college football playoff. Their highest ranked last year was sixth. Of course, Kyle Trask, he engineered an offense that averaged close to 40 points per game, mostly through the air. Eight players selected in the 2021 NFL Draft. Last week, though, their debut against FAU, a different kind of recipe for success, 400 yards on the ground. Different styles, same expectations, and it really starts with the quarterbacks. Emory Jones makes his first college start last week, some up, some down. What did he learn? How did he apply it this week in practice, and then how does he grow today? And Anthony Richardson, the wow athlete, how quickly can he close that gap to Emory and really be the quarterback moving forward? Well, we will certainly see. Following Emory Jones, Anthony Richardson, as he was electric last week. It will be an electric atmosphere between the Gators and Bulls. We'll be back after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. The following is a presentation of ESPN on ABC. Welcome back to Tampa. Just about set for kickoff as you are watching ESPN College Football presented by Arby's and the American Conference on ABC. Bob Wachusen, Dan Orlovsky, Chris Budden, just about set for game time between Florida and USF. The Bulls won the toss, deferred their option to the second half. So, Dan, it'll be Emory Jones out there for the first two possessions as the Gators will start with the football. But then we are expecting once again, we're going to see Anthony Richardson. And why not after his performance last week? A bouncing kick. And it ends up in the hands of Malik Davis. And he doesn't quite get to the 25-yard line. And he'll throw on the opening play from scrimmage. Well protected. That one's knocked away, though. On that curl route. Malik Davis stood up after a gain of a yard on the cutback. Only a three-man rush. Out of the pocket anyway is Jones. High throw incomplete. Best thing for him today. Start with a handoff to Darian Felix. And Felix with a stiff arm. Four was indicative of how the game actually went. There was plays there they just didn't make. Fortin. That looked like a broken play. He's going to lose a yard or two. Down. Four man rush. Again the pocket collapses and it's going to be a three and out for USF. The first sack of the day. Jeremiah Moon drops Fortin. Think about the details of the position starting to show up. Off play action, and there's a strike. Perimeter. Here's a toss to Damian Pierce. Breaks a tackle. That's another Florida first down. Pierce again, turns the corner. He's got Keon Zipperer paving the way inside the 10-yard line. Already 37 rushing yards for the Gators. Pierce again, this time, kept his footing. Looked like he lost his balance, hit at the line of scrimmage. He's at the goal line and in for a touchdown. Vincent Davis had a chance to pop Damian Pierce and bring him down right about at the line of scrimmage. What balance by Pierce to get in. Just watch Pierce finish this run, and then some of the tight ends and big boys up front. You're going to see Garage, Zipper, number nine right there, getting in on the party. Our department, and obviously all the fire fighters across America, certainly the ones in New York City that uh, were true heroes that day. Well, coming over to the stadium this morning to do the same stair climb here at Raymond James Stadium. As Ryan Batie is brought down at about the 17-yard line. Our first opportunity to check in with Kevin Nagani. off to Darian Felix. No. Yeah, misses and misses and three and outs. It just taxed their defense against the good NC State team. 
unless you get that first down. And it just looks as if Felix pushed the pile enough. Get those guys to understand it's close. So when they bring big Joshua Blanchard out as an eligible receiver, and Xavier Weaver had a step down the sideline. Now the misdirection worked, but they couldn't execute. Up the middle. But see with a cutback. Able to keep the defense off balance is big. Fortin to throw. Finds an underneath turnaround to Bryce Miller. They run away from the blitz with Felix. He gets a push and he's got the first down. Now by Felix getting up inside. Now they go empty. Four man rush. Quick hitter to the sideline. Felix is there. Now some rhythm for USF. Another screen out to the edge. Latrell Williams. After the play finish. Another screen. Latrell Williams again. Out route to the sideline. Dollison's got it. Breaks a tackle. Arian Felix. Fortin, well protected, floats it in the end zone behind his intended receiver. A long drive with at least some points. And from short range, he does. Bama's and think it's going to be successful long term. He'll throw on his first play, and he's going to float one up top. Jacob Copeland in stride. Looking for the end zone, he finds it for a 75-yard Gators touchdown. Electricity. Perfect throw by 15. Watch this ball just jump out of his hands. Beautiful touch. Copeland goes and tracks it down. See his eyes? For all the young kids at home, watches it right into his hands. There's nothing better as a play caller, I would imagine, than you dial up a play, it should work, they execute it, and then you see the joy on your players' faces. Okay. <laughs> SPN Plus having even more options as well, tons of ways you can enjoy Monday Night Football. A floater to the sideline. Xavier Weaver's got it. That first drive of this game. Underneath for about four yards. Jaron Mangum. Submarines for a yard. They're going to bring a blitz. There's the slant behind it, and it's good for a first down. The All-American's going to get a lot of work this season. Back to the near side to Dobbin for 90 yards here in the first quarter. Here comes a blitz off the edge. They'll run away from it again with Felix. So fast. Well, they were four for six on third down before Felix is blown up behind the line of scrimmage by Zach Carter. And now what do you do? Fourth down. Fortin back to throw. Pressure coming. Tries to extend the play to the sideline. And it just did not have enough on it. He'll go play action. He'll find a cutter in Xavier Henderson. Henderson breaking tackles to the 50. Again, play a little bit more reactionary. Well, he's going to run it himself here. Take one right for Dan Mullen. And he's got Anthony Richardson right in his rearview mirror. He'll keep one here. A pitch to Naquan Wright. Trying to get to the edge. Breaks a tackle and picks up the first down. His first half. Jet sweep. And Xavier Henderson. Naquan Wright to the 30-yard line. Jones steps up in the pocket, floats one down the sideline, looking for the end zone. He drops it in beautifully. Touchdown, Xavier Henderson, 35 yards.
Watch Henderson here up top. Xavier Henderson, third and seven. So he's going to give him a double move. Sit your feet down at seven yards. Stutter quick. The corner just hesitates for a second. It's just an absolutely spectacular throw by Emery Jones. But I love the play call mindset. Third and seven, defensive backs are always thinking, oh, they're going to go to the sticks. They're going to run their route just to get the first down. And you see Dan Mullen's face. That's the second time a beautiful play call has been designed, called, and executed by these Florida quarterbacks. Just kind of sitting there as a thousand yard rusher that they brought in. And Darian Felix finds a cutback lane. Blitz coming. Fortin off his back foot has a. Again, the Gators show blitz. Here they come. This time it's much more effectively picked up. Malik Davis. You can do it as long as they both play well. Away from it. Yeah, because the play caller is so good, I think you could pull it off. Easily shaking off a possible sack as Richardson, and there he goes to midfield and steps out of bounds. Anthony Richardson grow at the position. Malik Davis. These guys are going to get snaps no matter what. Well, I think part of the process, number one, is how do they look in practice? You know, are they can, can live with it? Yeah, I think they can go for a while doing it this way. You thought about quarterback run. Instead, it's a fake and a touchdown. Beautifully sold by Anthony Richardson as he hits Copeland for the score. The red shirt freshman sold quarterback draw, and it looked like USF bit. Eye, eye opening? Yeah. Ohio State tackling like Booger McFarland. Oh. <laughs> T tries to bounce it outside. Here comes the blitz. Sporton to the sideline. It's intercepted. Jeremiah Moon put big time pressure on Cade Fortin and Kyir Elam. The preseason All-American gets the pick. He had three last season, and that's his first this year. Emory Jones. Play action. He's looking for a big play. Has all day and finds a check down to Damian Pierce. And Pierce will pick up a first down. Henry Jones. Something he did with five yards there. Now the option and a crease for Jones. To the 10, to the 5, another Gators touchdown. Five straight scores for Florida. A bit of a speed option to get off the edge. This time the man on the line of scrimmage, the left side of your screen, he's gonna take the back, and Emory Jow just has to beat the safety. Vincent Davis makes him miss, cuts back inside. And like you said, another scoring drive for the Gators offense. Or not, so uh, the last person that I'm going to take eating advice from is from Book. Yeah, well, the last person any of us are going to take food advice from is you. Some of the recommendations you have made on Twitter have been disturbing, to say the least. Arian Felix, cutback run for a first down. It's a poor decision on his end. Felix tries to get to the outside. It wasn't good enough. I asked, how do you get it good? And they just said, hammer it home, hammer it home. Shovel pass right into the blitz. Hammer. Rashad Torrance as well. And Timmy McLean, the true freshman, starts off the second half with a handoff. And it's a first down carry for Jared. He's carried himself on tape with the it factor. You just want him to value the football way more, not try to win the job on every single snap. The keeper here, take the bull by the horns, for lack of a better phrase, and, and take over and win the job. Underthrown ball here, and it's incomplete down to the five-yard line. To win the job, and that force you to make mistakes. Zone read here, and blitz coming. McLean, nice sidestep to avoid the pressure. And In a tight window. Blitz coming, and he swings a pass to Petit that is underthrown. Because Brees Hall for Iowa State, the tailback, <clears throat> excuse me, going against such a great defense. 
in Iowa. Emory Jones, nice fake. Gets to the edge. Great runner, and he's showing a little bit more of being a great runner today. That puts him over 170 yards of total offense as Jacob Copeland keeps on fighting. He throws an interception instead. A clean pick. McConnell point down to the 10 yard line. 49 yards on the return by the point. Yeah, this is the point. He's going to drop down, okay? Now the, you've got to have your eyes on anybody going to the flat right there. And the point is already outside the numbers. That is an easy play for him. And Emery just takes that snap and throw it out there. What you want him to do is catch that snap and keep his eyes down the field longer. That's going to make sure that LaPointe doesn't get towards the sideline and get underneath that quick kick drought. I think, and I've said this, and you, Bob, you know it, as Dan, look at, that's what exactly what he does with his hand there. He's saying, hey, he's already out there wider. There is a difference between assuming and predetermining. It's okay to predetermine as a quarterback. You know, I want to work here. But you assume I can get that ball there, that's when you get into mistakes. Plain. But that is a relatively simple thing that you don't expect Emory Jones to make. Quarterback run is up again for USF. I want to go quickly, and it's an errant snap. Loose ball, out to the 15-yard line. And it looks like the Gators were not able to recover. It will stay with USF, but they'll have to send a field goal group out now. And too quickly for the true freshman. Trell Williams recovered the fumble, and that at least allows Schrader to attempt from 32 yards. He knocks it down the middle. And lands at the game notes and just got the notes mixed up. Naquan Wright. He said, part of my job is to figure out what makes these guys tick. Good job. Emory Jones patiently allowed. And who needs what? And I just thought it was a really good imagery of he's got a really good pulse. He has taken them from and what we may have expected of those players to where they have gone to, whether it's a quarter player and a really good college quarterback is Emory Jones. Quarterback draw. Picks up the first down. Coaches and develops these young quarterbacks the right way. Here's Naquan Wright. Cuts it back pass game while we've got this very dominant run game throughout the season. Play action fake all day again for Emory Jones to throw and instead he throws another interception. This one's picked off by Brock Nichols. He tiptoes the sideline. So a couple of times for Emory Jones where maybe he is just not quite seeing it and it'll be the continued tutorial on the sideline with Dan Mullen after he throws his second pick here in the third quarter. I said last week Emory Jones just played slow. You saw the first interception, the possession to go by LaPointe. Slow. This is a slow rep. The, re the defender up top is just a flat defender. Bottom of the screen, Whittemore is going to be coming on a crosser. One, two, three, four. Ball's out right now. You're two steps late, Emory. And... You know, this is where, watch the left side of your screen. That, that ball is out now. And you're just too late, and you allow that defender to just sink and sink. And this is where you've got to be critical of the performance, not the performer. You know, you've got to be critical that, Emery, you're, you're, you're better than this. You, you know you got to value the ball and, and play faster. And you can, and that's what's going to be frustrating for Dan Mullen. Timmy McLean's going to take a shot downfield for the speedster. And he's telling Emery, listen to your feet, listen to your feet. You go one, two, three, four, five hits, you can't throw that ball that late. There's a quick hitter to Sean Atkins. Certainly in the second half. Belly option here to Jaron Mangum. Doing, take a step and then throw, quit waiting. And McLean thought about a quarterback draw instead to the flat to Sean Atkins for their first touchdown of the season. Mangum at the goal line. He's got it. There's a Bulls touchdown. Good job pushed by that right side of the offensive line. Wiggs and Jacobs. 
along with the senior Brad Cecil do an awesome job of finally finishing off a drive for the South Florida Bulls. And I mentioned that Timmy McLean has just infused some juice into this offense with his ball distribution and ath athleticism. Trader tacks on the extra point. Well, USF on their second possession of the game at a long time consuming drive and kicked a field goal. It had been a goose egg since then until back-to-back -back picks thrown by Emory Jones sets up their last 10 points. To you by Navy Federal Credit Union. Jeremiah Moon, his father Greg, served 15 years in the Marine Corps. And Wesley McGriff commissioned as a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army in 1990 and in the reserves until 2001. How about USF analyst Will Baylor? Both of his parents in the Air Force. His mom was in the Pentagon on 9-11. And USF guard Demetrius Harris, both parents served in the Navy as well. So plenty to honor. And we thank all of them for their service. Emory Jones, two picks in this quarter, leading to 10 USF points. Play action here. Side arms one to the sideline, and Justin Shorter comes back to make the catch for a first down. Really go, okay, a couple mistakes, let's get you back. Avoiding a sack, tucking it under. Incredibly well, why can't I go out there and show you more of what I could do after those mistakes? Damian Pierce, 100 on the ground today. And they'll add to it here. Situation, great maturity by AR. Maybe he just likes his passer rating to sit right where it is right now. Chip of it. On Anthony Richardson was there on Twitter at least to support Emory Jones. Said, look, stay tuned and watch my guy work. He knows what he's doing. For any, that's basically the backup quarterback kind of reading between the lines saying to Gators fans, I'm not part of a quarterback controversy. I'm doing my part, but I'm going to support Emory Jones as well. I think it shows great maturity and character. It does. Malik Davis empties the backfield. Emory Jones, fourth down floater. Is that hauled in by Rick Wells? Broke it up. Couldn't hang on as he went to the deck. Has hit in the second half today. So Anthony Richardson does get another chance to carry it himself. Another quarterback keeper. Florida has had some great quarterbacks over the years. I'm not sure how many of them, though, could do something like this. Jeez. That's Anthony Richardson in pregame warm-ups just because he can. Imagine just say, jog down with the team. Okay, here I come. Is that a call the round off or a back handspring or? Sure, the, a, yes. Interceptions. Here is Anthony Richardson off play action. Roll in the pocket. Floats one down the sideline. Copeland has it inside the 10. This is just. These are these wow plays by 15. Play action, move the pocket, you're taking your shot. Nothing's there, I gotta move. Keep my eyes downfield, off balance, fade away, off platform throw, and it's an absolute pearl to Jacob Copeland. Look at the athleticism, see his eyes? Stay downfield and just that flick the wrist while I'm taking that hit, and you're throwing a ball into a very tight window. He misses that, that's a pick. Quarterback run, Emory Jones. Play action. Emory Jones floats one end zone. That could have easily been picked. I think they're thinking the same thing. Emory Jones. That'll be fourth down and goal as he. Play action. Back of the end zone again, a lob looking for the tight end. Didn't allow him very much, John. After the turnover on downs, a shot from the end zone. And the play out to midfield. <laughs> Low snap. McLean handles it. Some of 90 seconds, maybe almost two minutes off the clock. After the timeout, third down and 10. Timmy McLean. Tim is a thrower. He'll run it here. Breaking tackles. Anthony Richardson in the open field. Stays on his feet. A big play machine.
80 yards. Touchdown. And he comes up limping. That is the last thing that a Gator fan wants to see. Man, I hope that young man is okay, because he is special, electrifying, dynamic. Boy, best case scenario in the heat and humidity today, maybe that's just the quick onset of a cramp, and he'll be able to shake that off. Yeah. But regardless of who starts the game next week, regardless of whether or not there's a quarterback controversy, Listen. You want Anthony Richardson to play a role in the game next week against Alabama. Listen to the fans. I mean, they know it. Bob, I would just ask you this. How do you keep him off the field? Injury may be the only way that it happens. I think it's tough to say in your football team, we're going to play the best who, who will help us to win the most. Well, how about a quarterback in a zone read that runs through a safety and then has the ability to stiff arm and run away from defenders with long speed. 15 has shown up and shown out. Florida, that's your starting quarterback. Henry Jones hands one to Demarcus Bowman. This kid is, looks good. He does some stuff to their offense that, that's just a little different. And go. And they'll keep it on the ground with Lorenzo Lingard. And then getting your football team prepared for next week. Xavier Weaver makes the first man miss. Gets loose to midfield. Blockers out in front. Terrific return by Weaver. Trey Marsh now in a quarterback for USF. Hands to Darian Felix. I would rather be a Gator or a Bull. Nope, nope, we're going to get this, to it. I want to let this play go. Yep. I was going to say, this is what has been kicking around in your head for three days. I'd rather be a part of it. Oh, the Bull. There's no question. Really? Absolutely no question. Little pop pass over the middle. And that'll go down to about the two or three yard line. You should take the Gator. Touchdown to Jaron Mango. <laughs> So the second touchdown of the day for USF with 4.22 to go. That's a tough sign. Good job. Left side of that offensive line continuing to play. Cecil and Harrison Jennings and Mangum getting in. That sign said University of Sad Fans. Bud, I went to UConn. We're on the struggle bus right now, so I feel you. I haven't seen from a Florida quarterback since Tim Tebow. And the number, right? Where in the number? I'm not going to start comparing them to Tim, trust me. <laughs> Demarcus Bowman on the pitch. Game McCarthy for Michigan go. And th this kid's a special player. They got to figure out a way to get him on the field. Experience. Knowing you want to try and lean on the player that's got way more game experience. Sophomore at center, Stuart Reese, graduate. Gene DeLance. You know, there's so much experience on his offensive. Yeah. Emory Jones, for reasons passing understanding, is about to throw the football, and now. Jones will hand one more off to Lingard, and that should do it. There is not a reason for Florida to run another play. And they will be able to hop on the bus and take a win back to Gainesville. And a quarterback question regarding the health status of that young man, Anthony Richardson, and the role that he will be able to play next week in the matchup with Alabama. But he and Emory Jones, it's a big conversation happening in Gator world right now as to which player should be the number one quarterback. Will Richardson be ready next week for Dan Mullen? But a 42-20 final, that was more lopsided than it would even appear as the Gators win going away here in Tampa. 
Coming up next on ABC College Football Scoreboard, Kevin Nagandi, Booger McFarland are standing by, and then Iowa, Iowa State is coming up shortly. The day's news and highlights coming up with Kevin and Booger. Thanks for watching.